Subscribe now to Nathan Oakley, where we have the pre-show and after show. Hopefully that's brought John enough time to bring up his uh, third presentation. Yeah, the, thir the third one is I, someone sent this to me. And this is from Toadly Liley. His experiment. I think he's one of the knuckleheads on Jose's show. His experiment. So I'll just read the first three lines. Or the first four. What is the lake test using the scientific method and approach? The lake test is a test. Really? A little bit redundant there, don't you think? As follows. Following the views of scientific expedient. What, I've, what is scientific expedient? I think it's called word Hypoth salad. Hypothesize and falsifiable evidence. So his observation, everyone listen up. If the Earth is a globe, then why does the lake surface appear to so flat? <laughs> Hypothesis. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's a nice Hypothesis. The lake is flat, and there is no curvature of the Earth. So let me get rid of this. I copied this. Make it easier. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I, so so we know who we're talking about. It's it, it's this dumb animal right here. It's, it appears he and Jesse and George. Oh, Hannah it's a talk. lion. It's a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who else identifies as a lion? Do you have a name? These guys are getting in cahoots, boy. You better watch Aslan. Aslan, Aslan from Narnia. Open Aslan. That's who he's. It, closed thermoses are open systems, George Hanatuck. Boy, this thing is going to work out well. But this is who we're talking about here. All right. Let's check this out. So I wrote this up so we could see it better. So, Toadie Moron, here, it, like I said, I just uh, uh, copied what he wrote. Let's go over this again. So, the leg test is a test, right? So, the test is a test. That's profound. As follows, following the views of scientific expediency, uh, I never, I don't know what that means. I've never heard that before in my life. Hypothesize. Make sure you get some spell check action going on there, brother, and falsifiable evidence. So, let me, let me run this by you one more time. The observation, if the Earth is a globe, then why does the lake surface appear so flat, question mark? Any comments? Can I just answer the question? <laughs> because it's not a globe, yeah. it is in fact flat. No, no, no. This is the observation. Yeah, but that's not, a, that's not an observation. Oh, okay. We'll go with the usual. <laughs> it's not an observed camera. phenomena. Yeah, we're we're that. gonna get to that here in a second. I thought I'd leave that out there for you. So his hypothesis: the lake is flat, and there is no curvature of the Earth. Independent variable, dependent variable, null hypothesis. Uh, we're getting there. Okay, Let, I'll just uh, let's make it quick. Ass hat, you'd fail fifth grade general science in the sixty level basic re reasoning course. Let's take a look at this observation. If the Earth is a globe, then why does the lake surface appear so flat? So, number one, observations are not questions. Number two, it's observe a natural phenomena and not observation. Number three, why does the lake surface appear so flat is a concrete noun, not a phenomenon. Number four, the natural phenomena observed is your dependent variable. So what's the dependent variable in your train wet question observation up here? I'm going to take the liberty here in a second to figure out what it is because there's, there's not one, but I'm going to give them one. So hypothesis, the lake is flat and there is no curvature of the earth. Dipshit, scientific hypotheses are cause and effect suppositions. What's the dependent variable again? I'll tell you what. Let's use your train wreck question observation. Lake surface appears so flat. All right. We're going to use this as the dependent variable because it's the only one that's semi-coherent, even though it's not a dependent variable. We got to use something. Number three, what's the independent variable? That is the cause of your lake surface appear so flat train wreck question observation dependent variable. There is no curvature of the or earth or is there some combination thereof so let's take a look at this so is causes lake surface appear so flat is that the one no causes lake surface appear so flat let's combine them no curvature causes lake surface appear so flat 
of causes lake surface appear so flat? The causes lake surface appear so flat? Or Earth causes lake surface appear so flat? Which one of these? That's, it, this is incoherent Let's take nonsense. This. Say again? Yeah, you, you can't pull one out. It's incoherent nonsense that doesn't have one. So you're not going to pull out an independent or a dependent variable out of this completely incoherent nonsense. But I, I, I applaud your attempt. Yeah, I had I had to try something. So an easy way to tell, you know, other than uh, just the slap in the face incoherency is to formulate the null. So here's the null for each of these independent variables. Is does not cause lake surface appear so flat? No, does not cause lake surface appear so flat? No curvature does not cause lake surface appear so flat? Of does not cause lake surface appear so flat. The does not cause lake surface appear so flat. Or Earth does not cause lake surface appear so flat. Please, we need to hear this. We, we need to get this ironed out before you do your test test. And for the last one, and this is what I was talking about when I was uh, priming this with Arwen. I was just screwing around yesterday and jumped in. I seen Arwen's mug on there. So I what? just jumped in along with Toadie's. This is what Toadie had to say. He's talking about fossils and walking along the beach. So Toadie, you walk up the beach and you see the very basic creatures at the bottom. And you walk up a bit and there is more advanced creatures. Then there is nothing for a few layers. Then there's more advanced creatures. And then pseudo dinosaurs. I'd like to know what that is. And fish. But as you walk through those layers, you can see that those layers were different elements of time. Really? So rock layers are clock. Clown show. You see this? You see all this that you're mindlessly parroting? That you tried to pull the wool over everyone's eyes? This belly laugher is a formal logical fallacy. Denying the antecedent. Follow. If P, then Q. Not P, therefore not Q. So let's just add it to your little train wreck above. If they are buried together, P, then they both existed together, Q. They're not buried together, not P, therefore they didn't exist together, therefore not Q. See, you see, this is what you get for Parrot and Wiki. So, Toady, in conclusion, you're a certifiable Wiki Discovery Channel parroting pretender clown AAA retard. Thanks for your year. Have a nice day. And with that, I'll say if you are watching this on the Nathan Oakley premiering stream, then stay tuned as there will be an after show to follow. However, if you're watching this live on Nathan Oakley 1980, this is where we bid you farewell. A massive thank you to all who joined, smashed the super chat, liked, comment, shared, subscribed, and all of that good stuff. And of course, a massive thank you to all of today's debating panel for making this live debate possible. Be sure to check out the Flat Earth Debate Forum at nathanoakley.com. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tuned if you're watching on Nathan Oakley. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Observation was Flat Lake. Right. <laughs> Not idea. even, because observation was if the lake is flat. <laughs> if the lake was flat, <laughs> how do we make it a ball? <laughs> Love to see him vary something in that. Because I, I used the opportunity <laughs> to round out, John. I didn't get a chance to say great presentations. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I hope I was quick enough. I just didn't want to take a long time. Your timing was epic. That was like almost perfect on the hour mark. I like to round out the show after an hour. The live show, I mean. <laughs> These, did the everyone? Sometimes... Did anyone have any comments? It was great. It was a good presentation. Very good. And no, I'm not talking for, about the presentation. Uh, thanks they, for did, the compliment. I like seeing a formulated denying the antecedent. I've got to admit, as I was reading through his statement, I wouldn't have spotted that. It's because I'm so unfamiliar with denying the antecedent formal logical fallacy, but I probably wouldn't have. I obviously got it when you scrolled down and formulated it for me, but I, I don't think I'd have spotted that. Anybody yeah, else, be really honest. Let me just, let me just ask the panel. 
uh, I don't know how well form how well acquainted you are with that logical fallacy. Maybe this is a benign, a, a pointless question, but would anybody else have spotted that logical fallacy? Yeah, if I saw the necessity of it. But to be fair, John's approach seems to me sometimes a little excessive. But yeah, <laughs> you're not kidding, right? I was like, oh, I applaud your efforts for formulating it into the hypothesis. Then he does exactly the same with the null. It's like. That's attention to detail right there. <laughs> do it again with the null. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you figure out. Well, yeah. if it's not slapping your face stupid, I was about to then say, you just do the null. That's rubbing it right in his face, though, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do it again with the null. <laughs> if not this, if not this, if not this, and just use every word in the sentence till you find that none of them, literally none of them are going to formulate a null or an alternative because none of them have got a dependent or an independent variable. It's like the biggest train wreck ever. <laughs> 